In this adventure, I land on the shores of an unfamiliar map, where I would be competing with other groups, groups who were already well established, groups who could easily end my time on here early. So, I needed a stronghold. Alright, welcome back to Daisy. Um, we're on a map called Melkart this time, it's a map that I've never played on the channel. And uh, I want to check out some of the really unique base building spots on this map, specifically rocks, because I want to build some kind of like bunker rock base. Um, at least that's the plan. But first of all, we've got to get started, get ourselves all the base building items we're going to need, and then um, go from there. Now that you know the plan, I was off to get started, and on my way inland, I would stop at the trader, sell what I collected so far, and buy some of the base building items I needed to get a starter base established. I just had to figure out where that base location would be. Okay, we've got everything we need to build. Um, I was looking on the map, and uh, we're at this trader right now, but south of here there is like a rock, some, yeah this one looks promising because it's in a very good area so I think we'll go try that one out and see if it's uh, available this is the rock that I marked on my map it looks promising but we need to have a closer look before we have a closer look at the rock let's um, stash away some gear and put our sleeping bag down okay so this is the rock um, I think this will work. Yeah, I'm pretty certain this rock will work because the idea is to have some sort of tire on top and then like a bunker somewhere hidden inside. We just need to figure out how to do that. I think this spot will be the best. Okay. Right. Let's stash our gear away. Um, and then find out a way of getting nails and a code lock. It's the two things we need before we can build. I had overlooked buying a code lock and finding a box of nails, so I headed up the hill to a nearby military base and planned on looting before heading back to the trader in order to sell and buy a code lock. Okay, there's a military base here, which is really close to our base actually. Um, so I guess we'll give this a loot and see if it's any good. Bar it, Mag? Okay, back in the trailer. Code lock bought. Nice, dude. After obtaining one of the two items we needed, I headed back to our stash to store it away safely, before heading over to the nearby city of Melkart in order to find a box of nails. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Okay, no one's found it, thank god. With everything now needed to build our first part of this rock base, I got started on collecting the resources. Alright, we're gonna have to build fast. Okay. I'm thinking right here. Right click, door, floor, upgrade. Oh my god, we're safe. Okay. Before we go any further, let me just introduce today's sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game that has ever been made. You can play with over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters and ships, all in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. Each one of these vehicles is incredibly detailed and modelled down to their individual components, offering a highly immersive combat experience. Also, for each of these vehicles comes an in-depth customization system, allowing you to apply hundreds of camouflages and historical markings and 3D decorators 
anywhere on your machines, such as bushes and equipment. One of my personal favourite aspects about War Thunder is the fact that you don't need any extra piloting hardware, simply load up the game and fly in the aircraft using nothing more than your mouse and keyboard thanks to the game's intuitive mouse aim mode. Play War Thunder now on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 or the previous console generations and use my link in the description to register yourself for a large, free bonus pack which includes access to premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and more. Back in our story, things were going solid. Over the next little while I got the rest of the stashed items into the base, placed a bag for respawning and got a territory HQ down which when paired with nails would stop the base decaying. And then attach nails, and then we got 7 days, 18 hours of upkeep. Perfect. It was then that I was sorting out my markers when I realised a nearby airdrop. Oh, there's a new airdrop coming in, I might push that. Oh no, I'm dead. Okay, that guy's awful. I'm low though. Well, airdrops are off the table, at least for the time being. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to find some other way of making money. Damn, that sucks. It was after this death that everything spiralled out of control for me. I couldn't really get a start and despite killing a few players here and there, I would ultimately die. That's a big gun. That's a fight. Oh, dude. Killed one. Is he up here already? up here already, dude. Eventually I did manage to get back to my base with some loot, including some storage which would help keep some of the items just that bit safer. But I didn't forget about all those deaths I had and quickly came to the realisation that I needed more teammates. So I invited two, Hawk and Ricky. And although Ricky couldn't join me right um, now, Hawk did. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Sneaked. Okay, that bar at mag sells for a lot. That's on nails, that's nice. Ooh, airfield hangar. When Hawk eventually got to the base, she brought some good items with her, some of which we would sell at the trader, but that would come later. For now, we headed out of the base and up to the military to see if we could get more geared in order to compete with the already established groups on this server. So are we just looting? Yep. Beside me. Are you getting are you getting shot at? No no no. no. Kill someone else. Oh. Because me and Hawk weren't exactly the best geared right now, we decided to hide out inside the camo building and wait for those to come to us. Oh. Uh, well I died, he insta killed me. Wait, really? Yeah. What? I'm coming back on 500 meters. Okay. Oh, he had a nice oh, gun. Yeah, he had a keeper. Oh, yeah, DVL. Nice, Hawk. When morning came around, we left the camel and headed back to our base to depot. Okay, let's depot a base real quick. We now knew that this military base had a pretty good attraction for players, so as soon as we depoted, we headed straight back. I don't see anyone, do you? Not yet. Oh, I see a guy. Where? In the A3. Oh, I missed. A3, first room on the left, if you look through this door. Oh. He's in there, he's got an Emerson on. He's at the uh, furthest room on the left. Let's push him. His legs oh, broke. Did you get him? 
He's dead, he's yeah. dead. Nice. After killing this guy, we spent a bit of time looting around the area and looting the body bags of the players that had been killed by the previous fight when we were last here. Then, before anyone else could show up, we headed back to our base in order to take a short break. Alright, I'm gonna mute Deathloop, but I'll still be here, so just get oh, me I'm in combat, back. so I gotta stay in. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back short. When me and Hawk got back around 15 minutes later, we planned on doing a key run, but First, we would meet someone who had the same idea. Let's go! Oh, oh, oh. oh guy in front, guy in front, guy in front! Guy Spray! I've hit him once, twice. Dead, dead, dead. Uh, for the uphill, for the uphill, more geared, more geared! Where, Hawk, where? Nice, nice, nice. Did I? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. Where are you? You got me. Nice, nice, Hawk. He's crawling, he's crawling, he's crawling. He's not dead, he's not dead. I've hit him again. He's on con, on con. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I'm looting this first guy. Wait, wait, there's gonna be more coming. Super gear, super gear, super gear. Just loot and run. G man is his name. GG. Oh my god, they seen us come out of this base, though. Oh my gosh, foul. Oh, yeah, nice! Nice! An M9 and a military key. Oh, they were going to do that. Uh, yeah. With us killing these guys right outside our front door, we knew they would be back. And that came a little quicker than we were expecting. Snaps. Up the hill. Yeah, I heard it. Oh, I'm hit, I'm hit, I'm hit. I'm looking for him, I'm looking for him. He's up in the tree line. You see him? No, no, no. Fresh, he's running down the hill. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm spawning in base. Did you hear where that was from? Yeah, it was Yeah, from yeah, mine. on the base. He's on the base right now, with me. Shut the door, shut the door. Where is he at? From on me, on me. Other side of rock for me. Oh, I'm hit! God damn it! I'm gonna die. I can't see him. No idea where he is. He's. Yeah, yeah. I got M24. My gun clicked. That's him shooting. Can you take a shot so I can pop out? I'll pop out. Might be dead. No, he's not. He's still there. He's dead. Nice, Hawk. With these guys coming back so fast, we knew they had to live somewhere nearby. And with them choosing to door camp us in retaliation to losing some kits, we knew we had to make some upgrades to our rock base, because if we died with our single door open, we lost everything. However, to make the upgrades we needed, we would require Ready. more code locks. So with all the spare gear on the floor, and what Hawk had brought with her earlier, we left our base and headed to the trader. Right, we have 190k to spend, so we need code lock. Along with buying two code locks, I decided to use the spare cash to get some extra storage. You're gonna um, have to grab this military crate, you ready? I can do that, yeah. And after collecting everything we would need for the next few hours, we headed back to our base, not expecting our old friends to be waiting for us. <laughs> That's a Timmy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, really? Yeah. Or like lay down or something. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> Just like that. 
Alright, put that little storage box down. Let's get some shit put away. Um, right, do you want to push out or what do you want to do? Yeah, make sure right. your guns are loaded on full auto. Guns on full, I say. They are hard camping us. What's that? Oh, ready? Shoot, three, two, one. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm on call and close it. Yeah, I knew I close. shouldn't have done that. You just placed a lamb, man. You're good. Bloody hell, that hurt. Oh! Go prone, go prone, go prone. These guys were relentless, and unfortunately all we could do currently with one door was wait them out. After waiting for over 20 minutes, we had figured that they might have just left us alone, but we still had that landmine to deal with. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, let me uh, respawn real quick. Okay, it's fine. Well, oh, they're outside. Yeah, we need to get it fast, get it fast. They're still camping. Yeah, they're not silos. With nothing else to do, I opted for plan B, which was to unalive myself and respawn at the coast where I would come behind them. Oh yeah, I see one. Oh. Kill this teammate. What's going on? What's going on? There's, another, there's three, there's three. Well, up until now, we only thought there was two of these guys. So after getting back around 20 minutes later, we started putting the Let's pieces see. together. Killer flash R killed Chupapi. G-Man died by you. The so G-Man and Chupapi are together. Yeah, G-Man and Papi are together, but there's definitely a third, and we don't know the third's name. So, like I just said, we didn't know the third teammate of G-Man and Chupapi. So we would be on the lookout for this mystery member, but in the meantime we were fed up of being door camped, so we took this chance to make some vital upgrades. Okay, anyway, let's um, put some airlocks on this base, <laughs> so that getting camped isn't as big of an issue in the future, alright? Yeah. And then that needs to rotate it. So we just left play. Nice, there we go. Looks good, man. Kill it. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, right? Yeah. And a double door frame. Now, this is the question will this work? It should do. Nice, we've got an airlock. Right, does it, the question is, does this work? Okay, it opens it inwards, kind of slowly, but it works. Oh, this is so cool. This is very cool. There we go. Nice. I'm not sure if I want to keep it like this, or if I want to make it a stairway. Boom. I'm sure we can do something with this. Uh, yeah, if I got rid of these half walls, I could put windows there. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Run off that way. 
I was fully aware that dying during the building phase was probably going to happen at some stage, especially now that I was alone at the end of the night. But I couldn't help but think that these people who killed me may have been G-Man and his team. I knew if I wanted them to stop getting to us so easily, that I would have to continue fortifying our rock base into something defendable. Triangle and apple. Okay, that's it. Okay, it is the next day, and by the looks of things, we haven't been raided. Perfect. I got on early on day two and headed out to see if I could do some keys at the nearby military bases. Okay, someone's done this. Damn it, bro. I have to win in here, though. After returning to get another key to do at the airfield, as the one I went to do was already done, I headed out and was on my way when I got a little wake up call. Oh, no way, bro. I was a little annoyed at these deaths, but didn't let it get to me. After all, this is day Z, right? Instead, I gathered myself back up and headed to the airfield to get re-geared and let things settle back around our base. Okay, here we go. Oh, cage, nice. Got snails. Oh, one better. Let's go. I had gotten a pretty decent amount of gear from the airfield, so when night fell, I returned home to depot and wait for morning. But I could never have expected the following. Off oh, her, bro. Why are we getting camped all the time, bro? Door camped yet again. And by the time I had gotten out of the base with a gun to try and catch this guy, he was gone. Nowhere to be seen. So after grabbing the leftovers of my gear, most of which was the valuable stuff anyway, I took myself outside and into the trees. I knew this guy had to be the guy who killed me earlier this morning, and as the server was low pop, he saw this as an opportunity for some free gear and PvP. So he would be back, but this time, I was waiting. Um, oh. Bro, it is their base. It is them that live there. Right, I really want to kill this guy. They lived closer than we ever imagined. We thought the base on the water was abandoned, but apparently not. I chased this guy down the coast and it was clear what he was doing. Running down the coastline away from his base and then cutting back in so that I wouldn't recognize where he was coming from. Oh, dude, I'm so dumb. Right, well, we know where they live now. Once again, I was sent back to the coast, and once again ran back to the airfield to get some loot. But this time, it happened a little differently. Oh! Why are you here? I don't know how I lived that, you know, to be honest. Oh, 
There's a big fight going on. I'm just thinking, if I go for this body, I might be able to get it. I'm gonna go for that. Screw it. Alright, let's get back in the ATC. One guy there. the hell? Oh my god, this guy's kidding. Oh my god, it's 70k. Oh no, there's a guy there. He saw me. He saw me, he saw me, he saw me. With more gear players coming to the scene of the shots, I knew that I had to get all of this gear out of here somehow, but I wouldn't be able to do that alone, and luckily for me, my third teammate Ricky had just come online. So I shot my message, and the plan was to meet up at the ATC in the airfield. Hey, hello. Uh, right, okay, uh, there's a helmet, uh, an s um with a few mags in there. Right, you ready to head out, Ricky? Yeah, we just back to base. Yeah, let's just go to base real quick. Luckily, me and Ricky had no major problems getting back to the base. But after getting inside, we did have one minor problem. Our loot boxes were overflowing once again, and we had a surplus of gear, but nowhere to put it. So another trader run was on the cards. Okay, if we go sell all this, uh, get two code locks and then maybe some more storage. Um, then we'll we'll uh, we'll be good. Okay, let me see. So we need to buy code lock. We need two of these. Buy, buy. After getting two code locks, I bought some more storage, including a double gun rack and another storage box. Then, with everything we came here for, we left only to be greeted by a rather intriguing discovery. On the way to Amarillo. Du, 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 du. Bro, what the hell? Come to me right now. This is crazy that someone's done that. Bruh. What? We have to check that out, Ricky. There's oh. bound to be soft spots. You see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a thousand percent soft spots in that. You see, bases like this always have weaknesses. So after returning to base, we placed our storage and then headed straight back. All right, bro. Let's head over to that massive base. All we needed to look for was a backwards compound wall. And that way, we could jump in. Yep. Oh, they have, they have. I can get in. Let's go. I'll follow you then, yeah? But just be careful it's not a trap on the other side, yeah? Ugh. Oh yes, go, go Ricky, go! I'm coming in. 
<laughs> oh my god. Now that we were in, okay. all we had to do was find where they had some loot, and if we could get it. I need to figure out where their main loot is. Did you just open the door? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. These guys are playing with fire. Yeah, building this size of a base, there has to be mistakes. That's what I'm saying. Not seeing anything in here. Nope, nothing. Okay, so I can get into here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna phase right through that. Where? Right that ladder going down. I can phase into there and get in. Oh yeah, you're right. That's easy. How do we get up there though? The wood window frame. But I don't want to go in there just yet. I want to see if I can find where their main loot is. Yeah. Right here. I found sleeping bags and loot. Sleeping bags and loot? Yeah, I don't know how much loot. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, we can get there. Bro, what's that? Water oh, ball. that's a water ball. You threw a water ball through? Yep. Does that mean we can get through? Yep. Okay. There we go. <gasps> Dude, I'm in. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Right, nice. Okay. Let me see whose bag this is. Okay, it's no one's. Oh, bro. Uh, I might actually be looting here. Oh my god, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Oh! <gasps> good loot. Good loot. Yeah, yeah. Very good loot, bro. Very good loot. Okay, you got a hatch in there? You want me to throw uh, I need you to throw me one in. Okay. okay. Hold on, I just want to grab this vest, bro. I want, I'm gonna show you something, bro. Look at my hands. Oh, no shot. No way. Right, try and get that axe through. Oh, no, there we go. Left this open. Okay. Bunch of logs, right? Okay. What's in here? Military crate. Oh, a uh, remote detonator. Oh my god, oh. look at the sheet metal! The chainsaw. And the chainsaw. Oh, what's in the dog tag case? Nothing. Bro, this is nuts. We have to start transferring loot. Okay, so. This base was absolutely loaded, and although we didn't get to the main loot, we did get some very valuable items, which would not only help us defend our base, but also upgrade it. So we headed straight back to base, depoted the gear, and then did multiple trips back and forth getting the rest. Nice, bro. Oh my god, the juice. Let's hop back in. Sheet metal is what I want. There we go. Okay, let's go. When we got back to base on our final trip, we placed all the storage we picked up from our soft side raid and waited for the night to pass by. This was when I told Ricky about our door camping neighbours and so we went to check out their base. Alright, let's scout this base here. Let's see what it's all about. This is definitely the guy that camped me though. Somebody's in here. Yeah? Yeah. Hello? They're right above oh. me right now. Hello? You guys hear me? Hey, I'm to need forever. Yo, um, what are, what's your guys' names? Why? Guys, I'm trying to find someone. Telling our names, okay. Listen, bro. I I know you you guys have been the ones camping my base, and I'm here just to like see why you guys are doing it, really. 
Okay, good start. Careful, front door. I got a post. You killed one? I'm pretty sure I did. I hear one. Are you our neighbor? <laughs> Are you our friendly neighbor? One's at the very top. I think you can threaten us, eh? Hmm. We can do this all day. Bro, I wasn't coming over here to fight. You have to understand, bro. You're a threat to us, so we need to take action. Bitch, I can come here all day. I have no life. Yeah, I can see that. I can see you have no life. To be honest, coming over here, I was just looking for some kind of confirmation that this was the door camper. And it was all revealed when they knew my name. When Hawk got on later that day, we all headed out to do some keys and get some PvP. Gun bag and a... Oh, on you, Ricky, on you! Yep. I traded with him, I traded with him. Nice. He's dead. One. One's on the right side, he's dead. Okay. dead. One dead, one dead. Is he in the car? Mm-hmm. Wow. Suppressed Desert Tech Open Helmet. He's dead. In the building? Oh, nice, good kill, good kill. Did you get him? Oh. oh my god, he knocked me. <laughs> <laughs> I got shot at. Yeah, it's all these. Oh yeah, okay, right. Okay, one dead, one dead. Set one, something. Set really one, that one dead, one dead. Hulk. Hold another. He's on con. He's dead. Okay, this close hanger, yeah? This one right here. Okay. Guy, there's a zombie laying down. He's prone back there, he's prone back there, I think. Oh, nice, you got me, you got me. And after all those shenanigans were done, we all headed back to base in order to do some more upgrades. Oh my god, Ricky. What is wrong with you? Oh, that's so good. That's so cool. Oh. Okay, and then I think we build like a tower thing going up here so that it connects to the rock. This looks so cool. <laughs> Bro, that's perfect, right? 
and you can get through there. Bro, this is so cool. After expanding the base a little bit, we decided to use the sheet metal we got from the base earlier and upgrade the inside of our base so that it was almost like a bunker. You see, a metal wall would cost four heavy charges. That was 40 gunpowder, and to put that in perspective, at this stage of our wipe, we had only collected four gunpowder. It's eight sheet metal per wall, five per door. That's a lot bro. Our base now cost a lot of C4 to raid, and so we confidently what? logged off that night and hoped we wouldn't be offline raided. On day three we didn't really mess around. We headed straight out to the military base and got straight into the action. He's dead. Pushing. Come here, door. Got him. Nice, bro. There's still a guy in that room, though. Did he yeah. die in there? I don't know. Yeah, there's a drop, bunch of drop gear. Oh, so much gear, bro. X50, Remington Arsas. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to. Zombie, on me, on me. I'm dead. Bro, this shit. Suppressed X50, suppressed Arsas. After managing to steal some players very high tier loot, we decided to venture across the entire map and do all the keys we had. Majority of them proved worth it, others not so much. And the fact that we were doing so many meant we could catch others doing them too. He's dead, he's dead. By the time we were finished, we had collected so many high tier items and barter items that we decided it was finally time to go to the trader one last time in order to get all the code logs we needed to finish the base. Bitcoin, 170k? 411k, oh, bro. Yeah. And then with those code logs, we decided to build a compound to start with. That way, we would have no problem with any more door camping. This fits perfectly. Oh, shit, boy. Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? Although the base was coming along perfectly, I often did bricks and took myself on key runs in order to find some valuable items, and it was upon this one that I found an item that I had been looking for in order to get back at our neighbours. SVC hedge, and landmine and a PBS1 suppressor. You see, with a landmine, I could get that poetic ending I was looking for. And I just had to wait for the right moment. In the meantime, I got back to building our base. Okay, build this up now. Nice. This looks sick. I'm right on the top of the rock now too. Alright, and then this is the last floor. Boom. Alright. 
Let's build these now, Hawk. And we're done. With the last few strikes of our hammers, we finished up the base, and it looked pretty good sitting attached to this rock, if I do say so myself. Right, I think that's our core done. I think that's as strong as we can possibly make it. Um, so it's four heavies to actually get through this, which is an insane amount of gunpowder. That's like 40 gunpowder, and even whenever they go through one of those, they don't get all of our loot, so... Yeah, we're pretty strong in here, I'm not going to lie. Our base was now finished, and that may have been the entire objective for this wipe, but I still had some unseen business to attend to. So myself and Hawk left our base, and we couldn't have timed this more perfectly. So, by the looks of things, this is all doors, and it comes to here, this is all honey. A guy on the coast, two guys coming towards us. Direction. Uh, east. Two guys coming straight towards us. Do they see us? No. They're coming to this base though. How far? Oh. Oh, they're geared. That guy, he's got a HK, and the back one has suppressed right RPK, right I think. I'll shoot, I'll shoot right. Alright, I'll shoot left. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, they see us. Oh, Hawk, that was the worst thing. Oh, I'm hit. Hit one. Nice. Hit the one that hit you. I'm what you call them, healing. They're running up the hill. I'm dropping yeah, down. Yeah, running back down the hill. Where'd they. Oh, I see him. Hit him. He's not dead. No, 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 it's 308. I'm hit from the left, from the left hill. I'm respawning yeah. in base, I'm getting the 50 kill. Yeah, yeah, one's on my body. I missed him. Did he get your body already? I'm really looking at your body, huh? Okay, one's oh, dead, one's dead. Yeah, nice, nice. I don't know. I don't know. It's them, bro. It's them, Freshie's on it. So Freshy just came out of the base? Oh yeah, no, no, he came from the left. I see him crawling towards the left. One's dead. Other one's dead, other one's dead. Shooting the Freshy? Where's that body? Is that your shot? Oh, Freshy's dead, Freshy's dead. I killed gear, geared one, no? Oh, I killed the Freshy coming back for the body. Oh, I killed the geared one, I think. I saw blood, but I don't know if I killed him. I hit him with 50 cal, so he should be dead. Oh yeah, it's a, 50 cal's a one tap, he's dead. No, they, Freshy came from the, from the east. From the east? Yeah. Oh, I thought, I seen him running east. from... Their base, though. Oh, maybe not then. Maybe he just flanked around. Just cover. I'm gonna push out as a freshie and get shit, okay? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. That... I haven't seen that front door open. Their front door is open. It just closed. It's them. Oh, let's go. Watch careful. Careful, they're gonna yeah, roof camp. Yeah, I'm gonna get my body. I'm gonna get an angle on their roof. I just need to figure out where I killed him. Wonder if they're both on bat. No, you said it closed. Oh yeah, I got one spotty here. Pa Pablo! We now knew their full team, and I believe it was Pablo that door camped me for loot when I was alone on day two, but I guess we'll never know. Hmm. One thing we did know though was they didn't like their own door else. being occupied by us. Wow. Is that you? Interesting. Where was that from? He like, hmm. Uh, he's shooting at me. Oh. But like somehow I'm he's trying to get an aiming. angle. I'm clipping that. I see him. I see him. <laughs> he's dead. He has a share attack and a jug on. But he's full dead. Did you kill him? I, f I headshot Wait. him. Full dead. Oh, that guy down there. Yeah. No, in their base. Oh. After messing with them for a little while, we were pretty damn satisfied. We had put them on bag timers so they wouldn't be able to get that shay attack back unless they ran back, otherwise it would despawn on restart. But to make sure that didn't happen, I had a plan. I'm pretty sure this was the perfect moment I was looking for. Let me just give them a taste of their own medicine. 
Oh my god, this grass right here as well. Trees placement right there. <laughs> okay, it's done. They are not gonna see that. I wanna sit in base and just wait for them to um, <laughs> step on that. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end, and thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go download the game using the link in the description and enjoy the free bonus pack including premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and much much more. What are you waiting for? And I'll see you guys in the next one.